Hey Gemini and thank you guys so much for tuning in. Okay guys, so let's see what's going on in your week. I'm getting this out a little later than intended because I just got into like a funk with this full moon. But I'm back. Here we are. Alright guys, so let's see what is going on for you. Now this will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Gemini signs. And keep in mind guys, that energy could always be transferable. So it could be something I'm picking up on about you or it could be about a person or an environment around you. Okay. All right, and this deck that I'm using, guys, Tarot de la Nui, okay? What is going on with Gemini? All right, so we have the King of Wands in the reverse and the Queen of Cups in the reverse that came out. So let's get one more card. We have the Ace of Pentacles, okay? So the energy here is the Three of Cups. So this is celebration. This is excitement. Sometimes this could be a situation where there's three or more people. It could be talking about a group of people. But I see that there's something here that is being celebrated, but at the same time, you're no longer looking in a direction where there is something that you lost faith in or maybe someone around you lost faith in something that you were involved in, okay? For some of you, this could have to do with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn specifically, but I see you guys really standing your ground and being patient throughout this, even if there is conflict going down. Now, the Ace of Pentacles talks about a new beginning that comes in for you, and this could be something that is in finances or something that's just really going to stay in your life long term but there's someone who feels upset there's someone who feels cheated um, there's someone who feels as though there's an untrustworthy energy that's around so why is this queen of cups here we have the eight of pentacles in the verse so someone's upset that something's not working out why is this king of wands reversed we have the Ten of Cups, okay, and why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Okay, we have the King of Swords, Three of Swords in the reverse, Six of Wands, and Queen of Wands. If you guys were the ones that were to, uh, that are upset or were upset by this, you strongly, strongly, strongly get over this because there's a very solid victory that comes in for you. And again, if there's any sort of pain here, there's complete healing. You guys are feeling like you're on top of the game. And it's like, for some of you, maybe you go in a direction of a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or there's just a very significant person that's a fire sign that's around you and just really helping you to get through something but you have the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck here so regardless of what's happening and who's the person feeling sad it shows that you have you know a very positive change um the wheel of fortune is kind of like winning the lottery on something so it's really really positive it's just someone's holding on to something that has already ended okay or something that just really needs to end Okay, you guys are in a place where you want to do what's best for you. There's just something that hasn't been fully released. Okay, and what hasn't been fully released is coming up as the devil. So for some of you, it could be a Capricorn specifically or just something that was very toxic. Okay, let's pull three more cards. Page of Swords in the reverse. We have the Two of Wands in the reverse, Seven of Pentacles, and Nine of Wands. Now, for some of you, whatever this is that needs to be released, I don't feel like there's any sort of communication or any sort of like energetic exchange with this, you know, thing or person. Um, but I feel like there's someone who just feels lost in all this. And there could be a sense of saying, you know, I'm kind of still waiting on this and I'm kind of still standing my ground with this. So you're conflicted by it. Um, not even realizing that there's stability and something strong coming in, whether it's a new lover, whether it's, you know, just any sort of blessing where you guys can really build. Okay. So there's something solid that's coming in, but 
someone's waiting on something that only throws them off. So it could be you guys that's waiting or it could be someone else that's waiting. I don't feel like it's a wide known thing that this person is waiting. I just feel like they're, they're quietly doing so and hoping that things change. Um, I, I don't see that change, but I see something way better coming in. All right, let's use another deck for you guys. So this is Grand Lux Tarot. What else is going on for Gemini? So we got the Three of Cups reversed. The Eight of Cups, and we have the Page of Wands in the reverse. For some of you, maybe this had to do with a third party, okay, or a third party situation. Because we have the Lover's card at the bottom of the deck, and behind that, the Queen of Swords in the reverse, and the Three of Coins in the reverse. Someone is very bitter and salty that something wasn't working out and they're being very, very reserved because of this. But you guys have to be careful there because that Queen of Swords, that is your energy. Um, and I'm telling you right now, if you come at this situation, you know, with any sort of animosity or just not thinking things through, you're going to make your thing, you're going to make things much harder for yourself than what it has to be. Because with the Queen of Swords in the reverse, this is someone that already knows the situation is bad, but they add fuel to the fire and they make it a lot worse. So it's something that was already not working out. Okay, so it's something that it just doesn't deserve any more energy. Um, but for a lot of you, I feel like you are removed from this and you have already walked away from this. But it's just something that's strongly still in your mind and in your heart. All right, we have the Ten of Swords that came out. Yeah, someone feels very betrayed by this. Um, someone is debilitated by someone or something they had to walk away from. But whatever this was, there's just too much illusion. Um, honestly, Gemini, I feel as though someone is just adding more torment to themselves than what they need to. I feel like someone is so in their heads that they're stressing themselves out more. But with the stress that I see, you know, I don't know if you guys have ever been so stressed about something that you physically got yourself sick. I see someone stressing themselves to that point and someone who's looking at the situation in the most negative way possible, not even realizing that this is a blessing. Okay, so I feel like whether it's you or someone around you, someone is really beating themselves up, but there's no need to because this is good. So I feel like whoever this is that's really beating themselves up, they have to give the future, you know, their future a chance as opposed to looking at the past and what they don't have anymore. Um, and I, and that's really what depression comes from, looking at everything that you've lost and not looking at what can still happen. Okay, not having faith for the new. So this is something where I feel like someone is really making this worse and harder for themselves than what they need to. Okay, I'll pull three last cards here. We have the justice card. The thing that makes a person feel betrayed or whatever, you know, ended abruptly, it was something karmic. It was meant to come in. It was meant to teach you a lesson. Um, and that's, you know, then it runs its course at that point. All right, we have the high priestess in the reverse, and you know that. So it's like you know that this is something that was meant to be a lesson. You know that there's something to learn from this, um, but someone doesn't want to see the truth of it. Someone is still in a very strong denial. Okay, and we have the temperance card in the reverse. Whatever this is that either you're no longer involved in or there's just like a lot of shit here, your soul wants absolute no part in this. Okay, it's showing that you've done what you could or someone has done what they could. To get this you know to work out but it just hasn't but you have a new situation coming in you know once you turn your back where it seems very effortless you're not bending over backwards you're not having to pretend to be someone that you're not um you're not living life inauthentically in any way shape or form but someone is just too stuck on something to realize that leaving it behind was the best thing that they could have done 
okay so whether that's you or whether that's the cross watcher you know i don't want you guys to beat yourself up for this because it's just it's taking way too much energy from a person and there's no need to because the person who feels drained is a person who has something that's 20 times better coming in okay so i feel like someone is just prematurely beating themselves up if you can just give life a chance to show you something good you'll be fine and the way i look at things guys is whatever is meant for you in life is going to be there there is no need to beg for a person to stay in your life there is no need to try to prove yourself to anyone or anything if you know you naturally have something so just know that if it's meant for you there's nothing or no one that can take it from you okay so if that's not what this is then it wasn't for you okay and every minute we spend on the wrong thing is a minute we take away from the right thing so stop spending time on the wrong shit, Gemini, okay? I love you guys. So guys, if you need a personal reading, you can go ahead and book it on my website. All of that information is in the description below. Now, once you guys do make payment on the website, you'll get a confirmation email. That confirmation email is letting you know that I have everything, you know, that I got all your questions. If I have any questions before I do your reading, I will reach out to you, but you guys will only hear from me when it's me sending your actual reading. So I'm just letting people know that because it really slows me down because a lot of people want to ask you know the status of the reading and all that so it just takes up time guys where i could be actually doing the reading as opposed to answering emails so i just like to get to work and not be bothered okay um so if you guys are on instagram follow me high vibrations 44 i am also on twitter bruja shit take care gentlemen i love you guys